The use of a light gap is also good for checking the condition of the internal measuring faces. In particular, when you have the crossed knife edge type like we have on this caliper. To check these internal measuring jaws, you don't create a gap, but instead you close the calipers and then slightly rotate it and look at that gap at an angle to check the condition of the measuring faces. The very common caliper, like this one here, has four different types of measurements it can make. And therefore our calibration method needs to be properly engineered to sufficiently and most efficiently hunt down the potential errors.